Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, we will see how can we delete the product from the admin dashboard. Now let's start the functionality. You can see here the admin dashboard. On every product, we need to add the delete button. So let's go to our dashboard component and you can see the HTML file. So here I'm going to add a div. You can see here that is a delete button. So we need to pass a product ID on the click of this delete button. So let's go to our TS and here I'm going to create a method that is a delete product. And in the argument, it will receive an ID that is a data type of a number. I'm adding here console.log to print the ID into the console. So we need to call this method on the button click. So here I'm going to add a method over here. And in the argument, we need to pass here product.id. Let's save this. Go to our UI. Let me open here the inspect. You can see we got an ID in the console of this product. So let's create an API in Spring Boot. So here in the admin service, I'm going to create here a method. So the return type is a void and name of the method is In the argument, it will receive an ID that is a type of long. Let's go to our admin service simple. And here I'm going to implement a method. All we need to get product from the product repository. So I'm saving the product as an optional. So I've created here the optional product object. And here we need to call product repository dot find by id method and here we need to pass id and after that we need to add that a condition that is a optional product is empty and then we need to throw new illegal argument exception that is a product In case if optional product present, then we need to call here product repository dot delete by ID method. And here we need to pass ID. Let's go to our admin controller. And here I'm going to create a method that is a public response entity. And here I'm so the name of the method is delete product so we need to get id from the url so i'm adding here the notion that is a at the rate path variable long id yeah i'm going to call method that is a delete product and we need to pass here the id and after that we need to return response entity dot no content dot build let's add here the annotation that is a delete mapping and here we need to pass the url that is a slash product slash product id so i'm adding here the id variable Let's run the application. And you can see here application is started on port 8080. Let's go to our Angular project. And let me open here admin service. And here I'm going to create a method that will call an API from the backend. So now let me copy the method and add after that.
So the name of the method is delete product and the argument it will receive an ID that is a type of number and here we need to pass the URL of the API that is a slash API slash admin slash product slash ID. So let me add here ID. So the mapping we need to select here delete. So let's go to our DS and here I'm going to call a method that is a delete product and here we need to pass id dot subscribe save the response into this variable and here i'm going to add console dot log and the address over here so let's go to our ui and i want to delete this product so let me click on this delete button and you can see response we got from the backend that is a null so let me refresh the component and you can see the product is disappeared from the dashboard so the two things we need to implement after deleting the product so the first one we need to show a notification service to the admin that the product is deleted successfully and the second we need to reload the component in the constructor i'm going to inject our notification service that is a ng notification let me get here the object Let's import this from ng0 notification. Here we need to call this part notification dot success. This string that is a product deleted successfully and the duration of this notification service is five seconds and after that we need to reload the component so here we need to call a method that is a get all products let's save this let's pose a new product you can see product posted successfully so I want to delete this product. So let me click on this. Product deleted successfully. So that's all for now from my side. I hope you like this video. If you have any confusion, you can do comment. I will attach the playlist link in the description. You can check it out. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.